Moving forward with reopening Missouri, that is the continued plan of the governor's office. Right now, 12,290 Missourians have tested positive for COVID-19, but daily hospitalizations are declining. And today marks the first governor's briefing since video of large crowds converging on businesses at Lake of the Ozarks surfaced. Our Missouri News Bureau reporter Jeff Bernthal is in Jefferson City every day with the developments from the governor's office. On the issue of the lake, the governor said he will leave it up to local authorities to determine if any actions should be taken against businesses hosting big crowds. The video has been shared around the world. An employee at Backwater Jacks told me patrons had their temperature taken, and once they reached capacity, it was one out and one in the rest of the day. The state's health director said even in a pool, social distancing will help stop the spread of the coronavirus. We don't want people to quit uh, the prescription we've given them. Uh, they need to go the full course, which is continued social distancing, no matter where you are. But the governor said it won't be his administration taking any action against any of those businesses. I don't, as the governor of the state of Missouri, don't want to get on the issue of the local issues. What they decide to do on the local levels is up to them. That's their businesses there. That's their people there. Their economy depends on a lot of that. You know, that's got to be a decision people back there make. Back home, I want to say, make those decisions on that. We also learned during the briefing that Health Director Randall Williams was unaware the state was combining two types of testing in its data. Last week, he said other states were combining their data to inflate numbers, and Missouri was not. He said his staff was following CDC guidelines when they combined the numbers. The governor also announced that he will be moving the issue of Medicaid eligibility expansion from November to the August ballot when voter turnout is not expected to be as big. The governor has opposed expansion. He said the move is not political. He said it's being done so that the state can know whether voters will approve it and then react appropriately. His likely opponent, State Auditor Nicole Galloway released a statement saying that study after study have shown that states that have expanded Medicaid have ended up saving money. Reporting from our Capitol Bureau in Jefferson City, I'm Jeff Bernthal.